Life depends on the ability of cells to store, retrieve, and translate the genetic instructions required to make and maintain a living organism. Well, at the time of cell division, this hereditary information is passed on from a cell to its daughter cells. Not only this, but in multicellular organisms, this hereditary information is passed on from generation to generation through the reproductive cells, eggs, and sperm. Now, you are quite familiar with the fact that these instructions are stored within every living cell in its genes, which is in fact the basic physical and functional unit of heredity and determines the characteristics and traits of a species as a whole and its individuals present in it as well. But, do you have any idea? How are these instructions physically organized? So that, the enormous amount of information required for the development and maintenance of even the simplest organism can be contained within the tiny space of a cell. Well, that's what we are going to answer in this video. So, you need to watch the video till the end to gasp the whole concept. Let's start with a cell. This is how a typical animal cell looks like. Among the various organelles, you can find the nucleus right here. Now, nucleus, you know, is an important organelle in a eukaryotic cell that contains all the genetic information in the form of DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid. Well, as a genetic material, DNA provides a blueprint that directs all cellular activities and specifies the developmental plan of multicellular organisms. Now, the entire set of genetic information found in an organism is referred to as genome. The DNA of eukaryotic cells is arranged differently from that of prokaryotic cells. And the genomes of most eukaryotes are far more complicated than those of prokaryotes. Prokaryotes have only one chromosome, which is typically a circular DNA molecule and contains their whole genome, while the genomes of eukaryotes, in contrast, are made up of several chromosomes, each of which contains a linear DNA molecule. Well, all eukaryotes have the chromosomes with similar basic structure. But, interesting is that, the sizes and numbers of chromosomes vary greatly between different species. As human beings contain total of 46 chromosomes in each cell that are organized into pairs, with each pair containing one chromosome from each parent, that means 23 pairs of chromosomes, where 22 pairs are called the autosomal chromosomes while one pair of chromosomes is the sex chromosomes, both males and females, you know, have same 22 pairs of autosomal chromosomes, while it is the sex chromosomes that differentiate them, as female contains X and X chromosomes, while male has and XY chromosomes, and that is what determines the sex. For more information on this, you can watch the full video on sexual differentiation and function in physiology videos of scadia.com. Anyways, coming back to the topic, an interesting fact is that 
Human DNA is really, really long molecule with an approximate length of about two meters. While the diameter of the nucleus of a cell is approximately about five to 10 microns. Can you imagine how such a lone molecule fits within such a tiny space within a cell and that too untangled so that it allows an easy access to the library of genetic information that they contain. How fascinating, isn't it? Well, this is possible because the DNA of eukaryotic cells is tightly bound to small basic proteins called histones. This coiling of DNA around histones helps to compact the genetic material, making it possible for a cell to fit all of its genetic information into its nucleus. But the story does not end here. We will see this organization in detail in the last part of this video. But let's first familiarize yourself with the structure of chromosomes and the various terminologies that we will use in the video in the very next part. Watch our medical videos anytime and anywhere. Download Scotia.com app now.